Hello everyone, Kate here from Kate Crafts, sharing with you another project for Hollow Tree Hobbies. Let's get started. So to kick things off, we are going to do a little bit of stenciling today. We'll be using some Nina Solar White Paper, 80 pound, and we're going to be stenciling with the Paint Splatter Stencil by Lawn Fawn. The inks I chose for today's project are Lawn Fawn's Peachy Keen, Boonstone, Minty Fresh, and Lemonade. And all I'm doing is going back and forth between the colors to create a gradient on this oversized piece of Nina Solar cardstock. Now, the reason why I cut it a little bit bigger is because I like ink blending, and I also want to make sure that I have a big enough space that I can cut down and get the little bits and pieces that I like in the center because sometimes I don't always like the edges and I wish that I had actually brought it out a little bit more but this way I know that I'm going to have a good enough ink blend on the middle than I would more so at the edges and that's why I'm working with a little bit of a bigger piece of paper. Do you guys do this as well? I would like to know in the comments if you do. I try to work in a piece of paper bigger than what I actually need I mean, I could have cut this down to begin with, but again, I like working with bigger pieces, so that way I could get a bigger idea of the space that I'm working with, if you will. So all I'm doing here is I'm just moving the splatter stencil around so I can make sure to get all those big fat splatters in there because I just love them. This is one of my favorite stencils to play with. I It, it just brings me joy. I don't know what it is about this stencil, it, it looks like it's a big old mess, but really it's a controlled mess. <laughs> so again, I'm just going back and forth with the colors that I have here to create a bit of my gradient. And I really love how fun and cheery and bright they are. Because it's been rather dismal lately with the weather and being cold and the, the last vestiges of winter coming out and spring around the corner and... I'm just so excited for spring projects and nicer weather and a bit of the sunshine for a change. <laughs> so once we're all done that, we are going to go ahead and we are going to cut this panel down. So I'm just going to sliver off bits and pieces until I'm happy with the size that I want. I thought initially I was going to go with the five and a half by four and a quarter panel, but then I end up cutting that down a little bit more. So we're going to go to the four inch panel and then the five and a quarter inch panel. So that way I will be able to mount this onto another piece of paper and have a bit of a border around it. And speaking of borders, I've taken another piece of white cardstock and I'm just going around the edges with the colors that I use. So on the one side we are going to use this peachy keen. And then on the next side we are going to come in a bit with that yellow. The lemonade, I believe it's called, yes. <laughs> and then we'll wipe that down, and then we'll get out the minty fresh, and we'll go around the other edge. And this kind of just all ties in with the paint splatters and the fun, and yeah, I just, I really love how all this turned out. So here we've got the moonstone again to tie in all of those colors. And I'm going a little bit of heavy hand with these guys, so I got a good saturation on the edges of my photo. And one of my favorite things to do is just to draw along the edge with the ink pad just to tie in that white edge to make it all the same color. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull out some foam tape and you could use any foam tape for this and we are going to prop up our panel so that way it gives a little bit of dimension to it. So I'm going to take off that release tape and we are going to add a little bit of glue because you all know how I like to double stick things. So I'm just gonna go around, leaving a little trail of glue. That way, if I need to pull it up, I have that security blanket, and I'll stand above my project, hold the corners on the edges there, and line everybody up. And then we'll give that a good mash down. So next, I've got my images that I've gone ahead and colored off camera. These guys are called the Just Plain awesome stamp set by Lawn Fawn. I absolutely love these little mice. And then we've got the More Magic Message, just a little note, which I thought tied in perfectly with the little Lawn Fawn mice and their planes. 
So once I've got that guy down, we're going to add a little bit of glue to the paper airplane, and then we'll plop that down. And then we've got this little sheets of paper here that I just lightly colored in. And then we'll plop those guys down. And of course, we've got the little mouse here trying to put together his own little paper airplane so he could play with his buddies there. And then we've got another little paper airplane to glue right over to the top there. And of course, this little guy right here, he's so cute. He's running to throw his in the air. I remember when I was little, we used to make paper airplanes and see how far they would go. And sometimes we would have little competitions to see whose would go the farthest. <laughs> so what I've got here is a little bit of Wink Estella. And I'm just going to give the paper of the paper airplanes a little bit of a shimmer to them. I like doing this to add a little bit of interest. And, you know, maybe they're, they were working with some glitter paper when they made these airplanes. <laughs> Although I don't think I've ever made a paper airplane out of glittered paper. Have you? <laughs> Might be something to try. Just, you know, just for fun. So once I've done that, I'm going to add in a little bit of white gel pen detail on the little mice. Just because it's cute and why not, right? <laughs> so once I'm done with that, I'm going to bring in some Sakura Jelly Roll, sorry, Stardust Pen, and we are going to go around everywhere and add a little bit of extra glitter. I like using the two different types of glitter pens, the Sakura Glitter Stardust Pen and the Wink of Stella, because it gives it two different glittery looks to it. And once I've done that, all we have to do is add our little card base here, and I'm using a little bit of the Barely Arts Liquid Glue, and going all over my panel here, and then that way we can mount on our card base and our card panel, and our card is complete. I really hope you enjoyed today's project. I encourage you to check out the Hollow Tree Hobbies website as well as their social media. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care. <laughs>